Hey everybody, uh, welcome to this bonus feature with this property valuation template here. Um, that went, okay, 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 so everything that we've been going over so far is how to actually use this template to build it out for a property where the landlord, you're gonna manage for the landlord, right? It's gonna be a property management contract that you're trying to get. So you're using this entire template to try and convince the landlord that they have a property that will make a X amount of revenue every single year, which will make them more profit. However, this only wor the, 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 what I've been going through this entire time has been for property management, but there's going to be cases where you're going to be wanting to do rental arbitrage or actually purchasing the property. And you need to convince yourself that, uh, what the, what the actual annual revenue is going to be for this. Okay. And so when this kind of comes into play is when you've convinced you, you've talked to a landlord about renting out their home because you know, the rent on it, the max rent is way lower than it should be. And so, you know, it actually like intuitively, you know, it would make more sense to be a rental arbitrage contract, right? So you've talked to the landlord and they're like, you know what, I would be willing to let to rent this home to you and letting you Airbnb it, right? And what you want to do before you sign that lease is come to this template here and do one of these reports for yourself to be able to convince yourself that yes, you are right. And all the little details of everything that you need to do to make this property perform extremely well, right? Um, so this is a, a process that I always used to do for myself. I called it my second report where I had a general idea of what the max rent need to be. When I found a really good deal, I talked to the landlord. They were good with me using it for Airbnb. I would then do this report to convince myself that yes, I was making the right decision, right? And I was also working with investors at the same time too. And so they wanted to see proof. And so this was something that I would use to prove to them as well that yes, like investing into this property as rental arbitrage does make sense. So there's a lot of other use cases for this specific report. Um, and I just want to make sure that you understand that, right? So, and I strongly, strongly recommend that when you do come across another, uh, property and you're thinking about doing it as a rental arbitrage or purchasing, if not more importantly, purchasing, right? You want to run through this entire process in the exact same way as if you're going to be doing this for a landlord for property management and convince yourself that everything adds up, everything makes sense. Everything you're looking at, you feel confident about enough for you to put your money down enough for you to take that risk. And that you can look at this and say like, okay, this is the additional profit that we're actually going to make from this home. Is it worth it at this point in time? Right. Um, and I'll show you quickly on this, this one that we've already gone through. I have walked you through how to fill it out, how each area, where you grab the information, how you want to put it together. I'm telling you guys do the exact same thing for yourself. Okay. Uh, when it comes to rental arbitrage or actually purchasing, the only difference here is that you are going to be managing it. So you can remove this number, right. And you're also going to be cleaning it. Ideally you want to be uh, paying the cleaners. You're not paying somebody else to do it. So this number should be cut in half. So I'm just going to do this real quick because roughly it's about, uh, you know what, we're going to times this actually by point four, no point six. Okay. So that's going to be the expenses. So it's about 60%. Um, all the expenses that you have to pay to actually have your own cleaners, right? Cause if you have your own cleaning company, this is how it's going to look right. So now this property goes from if I were to be renting it out for $4,500 a month, and I, if I truly, truly believe that I can make about $97,000 a year, then there's about $29,000 of profit for me to pocket from this, which is honestly an absolutely amazing uh, rental arbitrage opportunity. This is one that I would 100% consider to do rental arbitrage on just because these numbers are, are so nice. They look so good, right? And all these expenses are going to be the exact same for you, right? You're the landlord is paying it. Now you're paying it. Nothing really changes there. Um, so you, you know, honest to God, this is an absolutely amazing rental arbitrage opportunity. I can't even believe it myself. Um, but, and I know in my head, I'm like, okay, if I do this, I have to do it like this, just like you would do it for the landlord in this certain way and build built this way. It's the exact same thing for yourself. You're like, okay, we have to do it at this level. If we can do it at this level, then we can hit those numbers. Right. Um, if we don't do it at the, that level, then this number could potentially be end up looking like this bottom one here, which is 82,000. So what I would actually do here is go, okay, well, what if hypothetically, we only did 82,000. What would that look like? Well, we'd only walk away with about $14,000 of profit, which is a significant different number than the $29,000. And so at that point, I'm like, is it worth it? And there's kind of like this line where it's like, well, even if I did the worst case scenario in this sense, right, which is $14,000, that's still pretty good. But I'm feeling very confident that I can do, th I can make that $30,000 of profit because I know everything I need to do. So this is a, a scenario where I would feel very, very confident about it. Um, so once again, guys, this is exactly how you would do this if you're potentially doing rental arbitrage or you're looking to purchase the home. It's the same numbers. It's the same process. You are convincing yourself 
that the average annual revenue that you're projecting to make is the actual average annual revenue, okay? So I hope that makes sense. I hope you guys are feeling uh, good about how to actually use this in the, the property management case, or sorry, rental arbitrage case. And one more time, strongly recommend you do this every single time before you sign anything, okay? Strongly, strongly recommend. So there you go, guys. Uh, use this and be wise.